It's impossible not to love what Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is doing right now as Manchester United's interim manager. With eight wins from eight, he has helped to transform our season from one stage where it looked pretty much over under Jose Mourinho to a couple of months later where we're only three points behind Chelsea in fourth place. And not only has he done that, but he's done that in United style. With a real return of fantastic attacking football and devastating counter-attacking play, just ask Arsenal. They saw it at the Emirates again. Manchester United looking like a completely different team under Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Solskjaer is, of course, though, our interim manager. So he might not be here next season, but it hasn't stopped him planning ahead. And speaking ahead of the Burnley game, Solskjaer has been speaking about what his plans and Manchester United's plans are for next season. How the youth academy and bringing players through is integral to that. And he's also been talking about the upcoming transfer deadline day in January and whether or not United will be making any activity either coming into the club or out of the club. So let's run through everything that Solskjaer has had to say, which gives us a real insight into maybe what we could see next season if Solskjaer was to get the job full time. Now, if you're new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe and join the channel and get involved. But let's get straight into it. Firstly, Solskjaer was asked about transfers at Manchester United and whether or not we could expect anything to happen between now and Thursday at the club, either players coming in or out. And this is what Solskjaer had to say. You can see uh, everyone staying at the club because uh, no deals been, been we done with, uh, with anyone, I think. Uh, but then again, there's still a few more days. And, uh, but I'm not too, too involved in, uh, in the negotiations, so... Uh, Whatever happens, happens. It'll be good to get the window closed so we can just focus on the matters that, and, and the squad and just improving the ones who, who stay here. You, you've given... Now, I'm not too surprised. I don't think anybody's too surprised to hear Solskjaer say this. He say, look, United aren't going to be active at all. As he is our interim manager, I don't think any of us properly expected United to back him with big funds in January to sign a player just in case it all went to pot and he wasn't here next season. Now saying that, I would have loved to have seen someone like Kalidou Koulibaly coming in, the player who you know that I've been speaking a lot about because that centre-back for me could have transformed our chances between now and the end of the season. But if you look at Viktor Lindelof and the way that he has grown under Solskjaer and then you look at Eric Bailly, even him putting in a pretty mature performance against Arsenal, maybe Solskjaer can get enough out of his current centre-backs between now and the end of the season so that we're doing okay, that we're not in utter chaos like we were under Jose Mourinho in defence. And maybe that's all going to be down to Solskjaer, but certainly the growth, continued growth of Lindelof, he started to perform well under Mourinho, but he's gone on a different, even further, quicker trajectory under Solskjaer. And that's down to the confidence that he has now got because of Ole Gunnar. And I suppose you could say the same thing about Bay, but I don't think he can. That was a good performance against Arsenal. We need to see more of it. But to hear that we're not going to make any signings is not too much of a surprise. That being said, I do genuinely think that a few players could have left. I think Matteo Darmian. I think if Mauro Anfellaini wasn't injured, I think he could have left. I still feel that Scott McTominay could do with a loan spell. I think Celtic would have been good for him. But Solskjaer is working with what he's got. He's keeping his squad together. And given how things are going at Manchester United, why should we want to change anything? Eight wins from eight, a return to attacking football. United feeling and looking like United again. Solskjaer, if you can continue what you're doing with what you've got, don't change anything. And one player who certainly won't be leaving after Solskjaer was speaking about him directly is Andreas Pereira. He was asked whether or not Pereira could leave on loan. And this is what Solskjaer had to say. No, I can't see him going out on loan because Andreas has done fantastic in training. He's, uh, ever since uh, I've come back, Obviously, I've, I've kept in touch with Warren, who had him in the reserves. I've known about Andreas from, uh, from before, and he's a, he's a player that you could uh, see uh, play quite a few games for us uh, towards the end of the season. Andreas Pereira has only started four games overall for Manchester United this season, but if you look at our midfield options, he's probably fifth choice, maybe. You know, you've got Paul Pogba, Ander Herrera, you've got Fred, you've got Nemanja Matic. I put Pereira above McTominay, so maybe he's fifth choice. And Solskjaer intends to give him games between now and the end of the season. And for Pereira, it's been a strange season. At the start of it, he was excited. He was on number six because we hadn't really signed anybody in that position. And Mourinho maybe didn't feel like he could trust Matic anymore 
although he did over the season. Pereira played a couple of games, went out, Mourinho lost faith in him, and he's been sidelined ever since. One thing here is Pereira is not a number six, and his best, most exciting football has always come when he's been in a more attacking role for Manchester United. I really enjoyed watching Pereira's growth through the academy, especially in terms of his decision making and his ability to affect games. Now that hasn't transferred and translated into the first team as such, but Solskjaer isn't going to push him to the side and say, look, you're not good enough, I'm not going to give you an opportunity. Solskjaer intends to give Pereira an opportunity and that should excite Andreas Pereira and any other youth players at the club because Solskjaer really is bringing the youth academy back to the central focus of Manchester United and that is very exciting indeed. As Solskjaer is United's interim manager though, you couldn't blame him for just looking at what he's got ahead, just concentrating on the next two or three fixtures, keep winning them, give myself the best opportunity to get the job full time. But what you get when you have a manager who is so in tune with the ethos and the, the vision of the club and what it should be, you can do both at the same time. Solskjaer is being able to manage what is going on at the moment whilst having one eye on next season and looking further ahead and for both of those to be absolutely aligned. And this is what Solskjaer had to say when asked about next year. He said, what Manchester United are going to look like next season with or without me, it doesn't matter. I'm here to prepare for next season. He really is a class act, isn't he, Solskjaer? I don't care at this point whether or not it's just lip service, just saying what the fans want to hear. But every time I've heard Solskjaer speak, every time I've seen him in a press conference, he seems to say the right things in the right way at the right time. As far as I think a Manchester United manager should be saying these things. He hasn't put a foot wrong yet. You know, touch wood, that doesn't change. But just everything, it's, it's not just the football. It's not just the mannerisms of Solskjaer. It's not just how he speaks. It's everything that just seems to align, seems to feel right. And certainly the football is right at the moment with eight wins from eight and just everybody playing well. That's all down to Solskjaer and what he's doing. He really does carry himself as a Manchester United manager. And he certainly does in terms of how much faith he puts in the youth. Because Solskjaer has made it clear that between now and the end of the season, there'll be more players, just like Tahir Chong got his debut, there'll be more players coming through. Speaking about other players he intends to give a debut to, this is what Solskjaer had to say. We have quite a few talents in that uh, youth team that you, you'd like to see and you probably will see uh, at some point uh, before, before next season. Because that's what it's about now for me as well, to put the club and to put the team in a good position when at the end of the season now, how do we look like, what do we look like next season? Uh, and Mason, Jimmy Garner, Ethan, uh, there's quite a few in that reserve team that do well. It's just about the right time. Solskjaer here making it very clear that no matter what happens, no matter if he doesn't, doesn't get the job next year or if he does get the job, he intends to leave United in what he feels is the strongest position as a club moving forward. And integral to that is bringing through more academy players. Mason Greenwood is an absolute goal scoring sensation for our under 18s, under 19s, under 20s, any team he plays for. Left foot, right foot, free kicks. He really does look like the whole package. And every United fan is looking at him and being excited because of what we've seen with the growth of Marcus Rashford. Could Greenwood follow in his footsteps? Solskjaer is going to give him the opportunity this year. The same goes to Jimmy Garner, Ethan Laird, two more exciting prospects from the academy. And you look at, say, Louis Van Gaal. He was a manager who I feel really did give an opportunity to youngsters. He had a small squad because when injuries happened, he wanted to bring through academy players. Just the players he brought through rarely stuck. Rashford obviously is the one that did, but so many players, you know, Christ almighty, there are, I can't remember, Paddy McNair, Tyler Blackett, those types of players that Van Hal brought through that didn't really establish themselves. I hope it'll be a bit different under Solskjaer. To Heath Chong, he's someone who should be getting more opportunities, absolutely, or at least opportunities in the first place. And Mason Greenwood, I can't wait to see what he does. But just hearing a Manchester United manager say this, to show how integral and core the youth academy is to his plans going forward, is what you want to hear from a Manchester United manager. The youth really is important to Solskjaer, 
And he's not just looking at between now and the end of the season as his opportunity to get the United job. He's looking at it as an opportunity to give others their chance. Greenwood, Garner, Laird, Chong, any other players who get the opportunity between now and the end of the season, that's because Solskjaer has decided to push them into the spotlight and leave United in the best possible position with our most exciting academy graduates getting opportunities in the first team. He could be completely selfish. Just play Lukaku and Sanchez and stick to the first team. Stick to experienced players. But instead, he's taken a bit of a gamble in that respect. But it's a gamble that every United fan wants to see their manager taking. And Solskjaer, again, doing the right thing. Whether or not Solskjaer gets the job next year, the full-time job as Manchester United manager, he wants to make sure he leaves this United squad in the best position possible to move forward next season. That means a return to playing the United way. Tick. He's already done that. In these eight games, we've seen a sensational return to that style of play. Of course, that could all transform with a couple of losses and things go down the pan, but I don't think it will. That also means ensuring that the youth is a core part of the plans going forward. Tick. Tahir Chong got his debut this year. Looks like Mason Greenwood, Jimmy Garner, Ethan Laird will get theirs, and maybe there's some others as well. But Solskjaer isn't just doing lip service to the United way, which he's helping to make return, tick. He seems to be re-establishing it in every sense of the way. Players wearing suits to away games. The academy, they'll get their opportunities when the time comes. Counter-attacking football. Direct attacking football. Just everything that Solskjaer is doing so far, it feels right. And that puts him in the best possible position to get the job full-time next season. And regardless of whether or not Solskjaer gets the job full-time, I think United fans will look back at this period as the time where we actually started to re-establish our identity as a club after five years in the wild post-Fergie apocalypse. That in itself will be a success for Solskjaer. But everything he's doing so far, it's, it's not at the point now where you, you can't argue against Solskjaer getting the job. But if he continues on this trend, then the likes of Mauricio Pochettino, wonderful manager, excellent CV. Maybe not CV, he hasn't won any trophies, but an excellent fit for what United need to be going forward. Zinedine Zidane, great calibre of a manager, won the Champions League multiple times. But if Solskjaer continues doing it in the United way and doing it with a hell of a lot of style and winning, can we really argue against him getting the job full time? That's what I want to know from you in the comments below. What's your take on Solskjaer's plans here for next season? Talking about the youth, talking about Pereira and transfers. Let me know what you think in the comments below, but things right now are going right and long may that continue. As always, let me know your comments down below. And if you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe and get involved. But until next time, take it easy.